guys, and today I'm going to be what, reacting to Woman drinks and bathes in her own urine So let's get into it My name is Carrie, I'm 53 years old I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado And I'm addicted to drinking my urine Okay What? Who does that? Let's find out more I drink it like I'm in a beer drinking contest it's easier to drink than water. Easier to drink than water? It's still a liquid. How is it easier to... What? Okay. The past four years, Carrie has been drinking nearly all of her urine. It started as just one glass in the morning. Maybe a glass a week isn't that bad. But every morning and then turning into twice a day. Is that good for you? She consumes up to five glasses every day. Okay, yeah, five glasses. That is n that's surely not healthy. I like warm pee. It's comforting. That's so much. That is a lot of pee. first time I drank my urine, I didn't throw up, and it wasn't horrible. How was it not horrible? It's literally pee. I can do this. My urine does smell, depending on what I eat. Today it tastes a whole lot different than it did four years ago. So this whole thing started about four years ago. Okay then. It's a salty. Sometimes it tastes like warm champagne. Champagne? Champagne? Pee? <laughs> Help this woman, please. Mm. Uh, did you see the way she just swashed it around in her mouth? Who does that? Mm. Maybe a little lemon. No, love. It tastes like poop. You can taste different things going through your body. There are certain things I don't like to eat anymore. Because they don't taste good. Recycled. <laughs> Say what now? I love, love, love asparagus. I won't eat it anymore. Makes the urine taste really bad. If you like that food, then you don't have to stop eating it because you're doing something weird and you're drinking your... P. Urine is your body's waste. It's what your body has decided to filter through and get get rid of. So it doesn't seem healthy to me that to put that back into your body. Thank you. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you. Carrie doesn't drink urine just because she loves the taste. Her addiction began two years after being diagnosed with cancer. Oh, she has cancer. Oh, it's so sad though. I guess she has a reason for it then, I guess. Diagnosed with malignant melanoma, stage three, and they told me uh, with the chemo I'd have a year to live. Carrie decided against chemo, instead turning to urine therapy. Oh, that makes sense. So is she doing it to, like, save herself? Long discounted practice to maintain health. Four years later, she still uses it to fight her disease. But surely can't be that bad if she says it tastes good then. She has never consulted a physician about her unorthodox treatment. Carrie has also found other ways to consume urine besides drinking. I use urine for toothpaste. Well, at least put some toothpaste on there as well. Like, come on, get your teeth clean. Brightening my teeth from the inside out. I use urine under my eyes and my ears. Behind my ears, through my hair. Why did she put it on her face? That's weird. It's not even strange addiction, it's just weird. There's always a catch to these things. It's really good for your skin. Aged urine is real good for a lotion replacement. You put it in your skin and it completely changes the texture, moisture. Isn't she just cleaning it off anyway, because she's in the bath? That would 
like, yeah, that would make sense. So, she's just washing it off. And I fill it up with urine, and then hold it over my eye with my eye open. It's not easy. Because it... The hell? What is this? Just... Why would you do that? What? What? The urine is helping with the cancer to really think that this is the best thing for her to be doing to help her health get better. I don't know. I'm just scared. I want my mom here. Hmm. This could be dangerous. I'm actually quite worried. <laughs> Today, they want to convince Carrie to go to the doctor before it's too late. Go to the doctor? It really could help. If she doesn't, I mean, she could in the video, but, you know. We want to make sure that you're doing the right thing, that, you know, that we're all taking the right steps and that we're helping you and supporting you taking those right steps, not taking wrong steps. You know, we're supporting you doing something that's hurting you. Right. That makes sense. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit confused. We don't want to worry about you anymore, Mom. Mm. Well, so, would you, you would feel better if I saw a doctor. I don't know about them, but I would. You know, just go see a doctor. It would make us all feel a lot better. Like, with a huge weight off of our shoulders. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Mom, do it. I'll go. Yes. She's going to the doctor. Finally. The doctor examines the mole on Carrie's back. She's immediately alarmed. So this is irregular in shape. It would strike me as suspicious right away. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. When melanoma does recur, it tends to recur at a more aggressive phase. And if it's not caught early, it could kill you. So is there like no way to be cured of this cancer? She can't do chemo. She can't do urine therapy whatever it's called i don't know so is that like nothing else she can do what is it you would suggest in terms of your urine therapy i would recommend taking a little hiatus for a while and i suggest a biopsy of that spot on your back what is that i'm too young to know what that is what is that what this has grown from a very sick place inside if we cut it from out here it signals that inside go bananas. So okay. she's scared of doing it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So this thing is to do with knives? I'm not I sure. Faith that traditional medicine could help you with your risk for recurrent cancer? Mm. Oh, that's a good question. I totally have. <laughs> if you ever did consent to a biopsy, and it came back showing that the cancer has recurred. Would you ever consider that the urine therapy had failed and be interested in pursuing something different? Uh-uh. So she'd rather die than do any of the therapies? I mean, I'd rather live, just saying. From everything I've read, if I quit, I'll die. Yes, she will. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, this is ending on a slightly it <laughs> horrible note um yeah uh thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this reaction sorry about the really bad graphics i'm not a professional so yeah see you next time guys